Thank you. So the State Department of Health this morning now reporting almost 9100 coronavirus cases in Washington. That includes 421 deaths. The good news, more than 88,000 people have been tested and just under 9% have come back positive. And now to some of that good news. We all know Washington State was at the forefront in the U.S. when it comes to coronavirus cases, so it makes sense that we would emerge out of it first, right? One ER doctor I spoke with says that's happening right now. Okay, so this is one of our capper carts. Dr. Eric Shipley uh, runs the ER at Overlake Hospital in Bellevue. It was at the center of the first outbreak of coronavirus in the U.S. But today, he's delivering some welcome news. So about three to four weeks ago, I was uh, uh, cautiously optimistic, and then now I'm much more optimistic. Today, Shipley says ER volumes are down 30% at Overlake. The initial tsunami kind of came, and we kept looking for that next wave, and you keep looking each day, and each day you don't see it, and you feel a little bit more confident. Four weeks ago, we had 10 nursing homes with COVID positive patients, and we expected every one of those to erupt similar to what we saw in Kirkland, and uh, we didn't see that. He credits nursing homes with isolating COVID-19 patients quickly and preventing another major outbreak. Also, faster testing for the virus is making a big difference. We went from five days of testing, which was brutal, to one 24-hour period, to now we actually have some testing for two hours and 45 minutes, which is such a big deal. It may be hard for you to believe all the good news, but Dr. Shipley is just as surprised. Even when I tell my neighbors that we're not busy, if you have serious illnesses, come, their answer is, no, no, I know you're busy. You're just not telling me. I saw it on the news and you're not telling me. And my answer is, no, no, trust me here. So I think Washington really should be both the model for predicting and the model for how do we exit from the storm. Yeah, interesting. He says that he's been speaking with a lot of other ER directors who are saying the same thing. The big message to Mimi is that he's seeing ER levels so down because a lot of people who are having heart attacks and strokes may not be coming to the ER for fear of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. He wants patients with those other ailments to come to the ER because there's actually space. And real quick, I asked him, are you prepared if there's another surge of the virus? He says he's downplaying the fact that that's going to happen, but says they are all stocked up on masks and PPE and staff and they're ready if something happens.